Hello everyone, my name is Andy and welcome to a simple video that will help you self-diagnose any issues you have with the build of Ending Credits Simplest Shulker Farm version 2. I've compiled a list of common problems with steps on how to fix them, so let's begin. For all of the fixes that deal with shulkers, it is recommended to be invisible with no armor on and avoid getting close to the shulker. The most common issue is a shulker not splitting and just dying. The main reason for this tends to be a damaged shulker being put in. Make sure the shulker is at full health with some splash portions of healing before starting the farm. Just bear in mind that each splash portion only heals a few points of health, so you may need to use several to heal the shulker. Another reason this may happen is incorrect armor stand alignment and can happen in both the middle and cramming chamber. Be sure to follow the alignment steps in the video. If you're on a server with armor stand ticking disabled, you won't have the armor stand fall in the cramming chamber setup. You can just use a piston to push the stand down in this case. Low health shulkers also tend to teleport away after entering the breeding cell. So if you see your initial shulker continually teleporting away, it may be a good idea to heal it. If you see shulkers building up on the wings here, this is caused by missing minecarts on the track here, which may either have been forgotten to be added or shot by shulkers when the player was in aggro range. In a similar vein, the next issue is shulkers stuck in the carts and not getting ejected. In this case, you likely put the wrong rails here. Next to the glass, there needs to be sloped activator rails, not powered rails. If you have shulkers stuck at a certain layer, and it looks like this, then this is a building error. There should only be a one block gap between the scaffolding and the slabs above. The extra gap will also prevent the shulkers from teleporting from the cramming chamber to the middle. If there's no extra gap but it's still stuck, you may have forgotten a scaffolding at that point. If a shulker teleports under the layer and kills the snow golems, you can fix it by placing a button above the trapdoor on the wall here. Another button related issue is a single shulker getting stuck in the cramming chamber and not teleporting down to the middle. You can confirm this by looking for the swirl that shows on the underside of shulkers. In this case, break these slabs and place a wall here and wait for the shulker to teleport. Then go in and place a button on the inside and replace any other blocks you may have broken. If you have placed a button but the shulker still isn't teleporting, this may be due to building error in the dimensions of the farm. Confirm that what you've built matches with these screenshots here. Finally, if you notice shulker is building up in the cramming chamber and not taking damage, this is most likely an issue with your server where modifications may have been made to the entity cramming rule or there may be changes like mob stacking. If you can't get your admin to change it, you can put powder snow in the kill chamber, although this means you can't keep reserve shulkers in the system to start the farm again later. To supplement this, you can put some trapdoors near the outside to keep shulkers ready to put in, although this is a bit cumbersome. Finally, we have a few bonus points. To expand the storage for the farm, as many comments have stated, you can simply extend the line with hoppers and chests till you are out of range of teleporting where you can put a box loader or bulk storage. Another way is using a spawn proof to auto dropper and collecting the items below. The farm can also be used to set up a simple mob switch for the overworld, setting up some scaffolding and slab platforms similar to the farm, making sure it stays in one chunk you can siphon off some of the shulkers into storage. When you have enough, you can shut off the farm. Take note of the chunk the shulkers are in and build a chunk loader two chunks away. For more information on mob switches and chunk loaders, make sure to check out ENXO4's video explaining the topic. That's all for this video. If you found it useful, be sure to give it a like and share it. A sub would also be greatly appreciated. With that done, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.